Hey, it's Jason from Bohemia Bees. We're here in the apiary. It's in the uh, early evening and uh, we're working on trying to get these colonies uh, ready for winter. It's now after harvest and we'll be doing a couple different things and a couple different videos here in the next few weeks. But one of the things that we do with our colonies is we make sure that during a dearth, they have the right nutrients they need. Naturally, as you can imagine, there's not much of a nectar flow. There isn't much pollen out right now during a dearth. Uh, all the, the colonies that we have behind us uh, you can see they have the robbing screens on. Um, and we're going to show you what we do uh, is one step in the process. There's several steps in the process, but this is one of the steps, which is put pollen patties on. Okay, so we've got a colony here that we're going to show you. We're going to take a look inside. As you can see, they're pretty packed in here, which means they've got a lot of resources being consumed very fast. We pulled uh, their honey supers after a harvest. And so a lot of bees mean lots of resources. So the one thing you want to be able to do is be able to put some... Uh, resources back into the colony um, at least for a time being until the fall flow picks up. We've had some rain here on the eastern shore of Maryland, which means that there is still some nectar sources, I'm sure. Uh, hopefully the goldenrod or ragweed, which some people call the last uh, bloom of the season in the fall, will bloom very hard this year because of all the rain we've had this summer. Usually when you have a really dry summer, you tend to get uh, a lower yield of uh, the uh, the uh, the road along the roadside, the goldenrod. But we're hopeful for that this year. Uh, they still have some non-native uh, flora around that they're getting it. But at the end of the day, we're we're going to probably need to feed on some of these colonies if they're not at weight. You know, an easy way you could test your colony is grab the back of it without anything on it, pick it up, feel it, the weight, um, feel it. You know, it probably feels about forty pounds there. Uh, it needs to be at 100 when they go in. If we run single deeps through the winter, and we have a whole other several series of videos and steps that we do to talk about feeding and getting off to weight. But one of the things we feed with right now um, is pollen, you know, pollen substitute. This is a pollen patty we can get. Uh, we get this from uh, Dedant. We get it by um, a large box. And I'll put the ingredients here on the screen so you can see what's in it. And uh, what we do is we take this whole pollen patty. We're not going to take this entire pollen patty. This is a, just a standard one-pound pollen patty. We're going to cut it up into pieces and put it in here because they can get at more sides of the pollen patty and consume it faster. You don't want in this time of the year to have a giant patty like that across the center of your, your colony because what ends up happening is the center will dry out um, or the small hive beetles will nest up in there and lay eggs and feed off of it. So you want to really get the bees, the, the amount of bees you got in here now, to feed on this and consume it pretty fast. So I'll show you how we All do right, that. So we've cut that pollen patty up into four pieces just so that there's again more surface area around the perimeter for them to get at. We're gonna take just two of these actually. So it's a half pound, not a lot, but just enough to get the bees some nutrients. We use these screen dinner covers. I love these screen dinner covers. You can really see what's going on in the colony without even opening it up. And we're gonna take these pollen patties, slide it in the middle right on the frames, okay? And so those two pollen patties will be right there in the middle to give them their nutrients. These bees will find them and they'll start to eat. Look at them, they already found it it's over here. And drop my inner cover. You can see those bees already found that source and they're go ahead and uh, eating that pollen patty. So they're gonna love that. And they're gonna consume these within a day or so. All right, we're gonna close it up and they're good to go. Okay, so now we've got a colony to the left of this one that had a, still a remaining super on it. It didn't have a lot of capped honey for us to pull and the light, the, you know, the, the colony was fairly light at the time. So we left it on, we'll let them overwinter with that. We're not gonna take more than what we need. Um, we wanna make sure the bees have their nutrients. So I'm gonna show you or attempt to show you here how we're gonna put the soup. We're gonna put them between the super. We're gonna lift the super up here and we're gonna slide those pollen patties underneath there. I can do this one-handed, probably not. Okay, so you can see underneath there, we put those pollen patties right in the middle, right over the uh, center. The reason why we do it, even though there's no queen excluder, is to try to get the pollen as close to the uh, brood's nest as possible. On the singles, it's pretty easy right on top. With ones where they're still remaining a super, you wanna make sure you stick it right on the top of that deep uh, in the middle of the, of the uh, of the frames. So there you go. Uh, that's how we're going to feed our bees a little bit here uh, as we go into the end of the 
summer uh, into a dearth right now. And we're gonna make sure that they have the nutrients they need to continue to build that brood. We need volume of bees. You know, that's one of the things that most people don't understand going into winter is you need a very large brood's nest with lots of resources in order to survive through winter. It's about bee volume, it's low pests, meaning mitigate, you know, getting those mites out of there and making sure they have enough resources. Those three things will help you have a successful colony to get through the winter. So hope you enjoyed that. Another, uh, another video here we have in the apiary, it's starting to get dark, we're gonna finish up. Uh, we'll finish up our another yard we have to do tomorrow. Um, but if you like what you see on these videos, please subscribe to the channel. You know, we're about to reach a milestone again with subscribers, but there's a lot of um, good content out there with some of our peers in the uh, beekeeping community. Uh, I see how there's a lot of support for them. You know, definitely share that support on our side. We'd love to make videos. We just really like to get it out into the beekeeping community for another perspective. Again, it's not, uh, it's not a to-do list or a, or a how-to list uh, of how to do things in beekeeping. It's really just our perspective here at the Bohemian Apiary. So I hope you enjoy the videos. Subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and make sure you um, definitely uh, you know, follow us here at the Bohemian Apiary because beekeeping for us is definitely more than a hobby. It's an obsession.